Hey, what's up? This is Rob Robbie. Let me get my camera right. Going out for a walk, and I'm deciding to do a quick review of Black Lightning, what I've seen so far. Um, I hope my camera's working, because I know the audio's off sometimes. But before I forget, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment below. All right, so I've been watching Black Lightning, and so far, uh, I'm not agreeing with the user reviews, and a lot of times I do. So right now, the users are saying that it's racist and it's too serious, disrespects police officers, stuff like that. But uh, I'm not seeing anything different that I don't see in normal DC shows, you know? Let's say that you don't subscribe to the current themes that go on right now in uh, our everyday lives, you know, like police brutality, stuff like that. But a show like this is asking you to suspend disbelief and almost every DC character right now has a corrupted city, a corrupted crime force and all that. So if you can't suspend that much disbelief and see that Black Lightning is just playing into that same theme that everything else is playing into. Getting into the major themes of the show, which are kind of like community violence and stuff like that, uh, I think Black Lightning is very repetitive as to what was going on in Luke Cage and things like that. So I hope that they can change it and kind of make a show that doesn't repeat the same points as Luke Cage. They're doing the quotes and stuff like that. The old school music. I hate the theme, but you know, everything being said, I think they do a good job with the portrayal of him being a teacher that really cares about the students and things like that. Uh, I'm glad they're taking the show seriously. Sometimes I think they take it a little too seriously. Um, it falls in a lot of the same CW tropes <laughs> where all the characters are super fit, super model type. I'd like to see some normal everyday people. I think that's what Luke Cage got better. Uh, it doesn't feel like a real city, but notwithstanding, they do a good job with the script um, it's not as heavy dialogue as Luke Cage and I know that uh, it's not cool to compare every black show but this show takes a lot from Luke Cage and being DC being that DC is such an innovator I would hope that they would create their own kind of experience and being that Black Lightning and the comics is so powerful they should really go into the DC verse and kind of go into kind of how this dude can become actual lightning and this dude can kind of do so many incredible things he's so much more than a common crime fighter he's not spider-man he's not the arrow a green arrow i mean he's not even batman this guy is like epically strong and they should show that kind of like they show in the flash so you know Right now, I'm giving the show 7 out of 10. Hopefully, it improves. Shows me something new that I haven't seen before. There's a lot of stuff I'm liking. I really do like the main actor. I think the acting is good. I think sometimes the daughter's acting can be... Both daughters can be kind of cheesy, but... So far, so good, I guess. So, 7 out of 10. Once again, it's been Rob Robbie. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And tune in next time. Peace.